Hey guys, what's going on? Hope y'all are having a good day. I appreciate y'all for joining me for the content. And if you haven't been here before or seen my videos before, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Like, comment on the video. It's greatly appreciated. I'm trying to hit 200, 200 subscribers by the end of the month. So, just support me however you can because it's greatly appreciated. The ones of you that have already been here for a while, I appreciate y'all as well. I'm trying to do this 30 day challenge and of course I missed day 3 because it rained literally from the time the sun up to the time the sun went down. And I was going to get on and make a knot rod just so I could keep the streak alive and got up, got out at like 8.30 and of course it was still raining. So I didn't really want to do a night rain video. I didn't really want to do a rain video at all but definitely not at night. So I'll probably put out a, I was going to do two videos today but I didn't realize my camera was full because you know new things i'm a squid billy but it's fun uh so i'll probably just make this video a little bit longer but i'm gonna go down to the dam today That's, it's a biker tourist attraction apparently so i figured it'd be cool to go and get some footage of it and all that good stuff All back roads, of course, because who wants to take the interstate? Also, I did turn my mic on my mic. Apparently, I guess some of my audio was coming through fine and some of it was coming through really quiet, like at a different volume from one side to the other. So I actually spun the mic to see if that makes a difference. If not, I'm just gonna get a different mic. I think these purple pandas are more than they're cracked up to be. They're supposed to be the best for photo vlogging, but I've had nothing but problems out of it. So, that being said, let me know if y'all do any moto vlogging and you're watching this. Let me know what mock setup you use because I've had nothing but problems out of the purple panda. done without the traffic that's why I take back roads so I don't have to deal with traffic but yeah here we are
sorry if I ain't saying much. I'm just kind of enjoying the ride, and to be honest, I was kind of hoping to have this road to myself. Not too sure where I am, but I was kind of just trying to get away from all the traffic. Hey, anybody need an armadillo hat? I can get you one real cheap. Maybe I could make a armadillo motorcycle helmet and make millions. Hurricane Marina. Never been here before. Check it out. See what it's about. Oh, it's a boat dog. This looks like it'd be fun. It's like the Daytona 500. Might be a little hidden gem. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a huge marina. Let me find out where I'm supposed to be. On the topic of the phone mail, if you're wanting to get one of these, I'm not even going to say the name of it, and you're considering it, don't. It's not worth the freaking money. It's given me nothing but headache. Literally the first day I got it, my phone fell. Going like 60 miles an hour, phone just flew off. So I had to go buy another phone. Haven't used it since. But my biggest problem is it hits the buttons on the side of the phone. So every time I try and use it, it's hitting buttons. And it's a huge annoyance. A huge annoyance. I cannot stand it. I went ahead and ordered the rock form. Also, if you have one of these and you want to try the rock form out, uh, they actually have a mount that goes on this mount. So you can use this original mount and just take this crap off and put the rock form mount on it. That's what I'm doing.
head is itching like crazy. I feel like I got sunburned on my head. See if I can lose another phone. trying to get a knee down yet but I'm definitely working on my lean angles that was a lot of fun yelling and cussing at somebody when I'm speeding and they pulled on out and went about their business. I'm not one of these that's going to rev bomb somebody and honk their horn and get all ticked off. It is what it is. Not any more their road than it is mine and vice versa. GPS. Dead end, how intriguing. Oh shoot, <laughs> that's embarrassing. I'm resting my foot back on the peg. I went to shift up and when I moved my foot I bumped the shifter and went down. Whoopsie daisy. The 
this is somebody's house. Apparently this isn't what it's supposed to be. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, it's a heck of a view if it's not. This is somebody's house. I'm almost positive of it. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, this is somebody's house. Well, there's the view, guys. I didn't realize it was somebody's house. I would get a picture, but you know, there's somebody sitting on their porch, and I'm just like pulling in their driveway like I own the place. That's awkward. Alright, we shall find another place. I thought this was the dam. Apparently not. This always sketches me out because that's the interstate ramp here. So it feels like you're turning backwards on the interstate ramp. But the road just conjoins with the ramp. Oh, this might be a funner road anyway, and there's less traffic. I see curvy signs. Kirby signs being twisty. isn't always great when the road is in uh, maintained it's really bumpy this is horrible why would anyone enjoy this it's like your tires are bouncing off the ground every time you take a corner It's not as fun when you're bouncing all over the road.
been this far down this road before. Let's just hope what we're looking for is at the end of the road this time. And not pulling in somebody's driveway. Beautiful drive, but a terrible road. Looks like we actually finally made it. Center Hill Dam, we made it, boys. awesome during the week. It's usually busy as crap during the weekend. Have it all, have the whole place to myself. Every bit of it. It's awesome.
This is the kind of hill as a kid you want to ride your bicycle down. It's so steep. Like, see if I can. This is me pretty much sitting straight up. And it's like straight down. Not even straight down, but it's probably every bit of like a 60 degree hill. Oh, I think I went there. Oh, no, that's the campground. I ain't wanting the campground. parking only. What if I want to get a picture of my bike in front of the dam? No parking. I guess I'll take my chances. No parking anytime. I'll take employee parking over no parking anytime. Surely they won't mind a quick picture. do it for the Instagram right imagine they already come out here screaming I even got my phone on yet gotta do it for the Instagram right yeah boy Let's see if I can nail out of the picture absolutely not Hey, that wasn't too bad. Oh, that's perfect. Heck yeah. Alright. I hate this stupid thing. I know I've said that already, but... Whatever. Suspicious, don't act suspicious. You're cutting me a dirty look. You're just mad because you drive like the most original hybrid ever. The ugly Hondas. You can't tell me that I'm the only biker that's ever went down there to take a picture. Oh well. My feelings ain't hurt. I don't like when people cut me dirty looks. Shut that so y'all don't get so much wind noise. I'm hot. It is hot, hot, hot. Just imagine if y'all were on my Instagram, you'd see the picture of the dam before you seen the video. Oh, I need to go this way. Oh, I thought that was like a median at first. Whoops. It's crazy, a whole lake. And it shuts down to the little river system right here. It's crazy how one dam makes that big of a difference in the water system. got to race home because I've got like well it says it'll take 25 minutes but 
thing is, you know your boy ain't taking the interstate. I'm gonna slay some back roads on the way home. And I'd rather not take the, there's a deer. There's a deer. See, that's why I put paying attention to the rod before I do my vlogs. But anyway, sorry. Back to what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. 